हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर सुचेता शाह कंसल्टेंट रिहैबिलिटेशन फिजिशियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ न्यूरो साइंसेज कोलकाता ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल वुमेंस डे आई वुड लाइक टू कंग्रेचुलेट ऑल द वुमेन फॉर बीइंग गॉड्स मोस्ट ब्यूटीफुल क्रिएशन आई बिलीव ऑन दिस डे लेट्स प्लेज फॉर अ बायस फ्री वर्ल्ड एज अ बर्ड विद अ सिंगल विंग कैन नॉट फ्लाई हाई लाइक दैट अ सोसाइटी विद अ जेंडर बायस कैन नॉट फ्लाई टू द हाइट ऑफ द प्रोस्पेरिटी सो लेट अस break the bias and work together to make the world a beautiful place and please don't stop celebration on 8 march celebrate every day celebrate womanhood and celebrate humanity thank you hello everyone happy women's day take a moment and take pride in all the past accomplishments we have made together and individually be focused and work hard for your future goals Above all, believe in yourself and be happy. Thank you. Hi everyone. I'm Dr. Amulya, a consultant psychiatrist working at Asha Hospital, Hyderabad, with a specific interest in reproductive psychiatry. At the outset, I would like to wish everyone a very happy International Women's Day. The theme for that this year is gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. We all know that there is a lot of gender inequality and bias in the society, which we often face. let us strive for lessening the inequality and the bias in both our personal and professional lives with a goal of striving for better healthcare services especially mental health care for women especially those in marginalized community thank you hi i am dr zeel tripathi and i am a practicing psychiatrist in vadodara gujarat first of all wishing you all a very happy women's day so every year we celebrate women's day by celebrating the achievements of women in every aspects we give importance to maternal and reproductive health of women but we have never given importance to the overall physical and mental well-being of women so in a country like india where mental illnesses are itself very closeted you can imagine the impact of uh, gender biasness in the presentation of uh, mental illnesses and the overall impact on women's health patriarchy uh, social norms and some kind of customs have conditioned women to repress their feelings and to suppress them so this kind of suppression chronically produces very high levels of frustration which ultimately can lead to depression women often adjust themselves they keep on adjusting to their problems they keep on repressing their problems they never speak up so we need to teach our women to speak up about their problems the point here is that why don't they speak up about their problems uh, one of the reasons of which i can think of is again women in india have been conditioned over the period of years to like uh, like uh, the more enduring they are the better they are and more appreciated they are uh, which is one of which is very wrong so women need to speak up we need to change that and i think one of the ways of achieving that is financial independence so we need to make our women more financially independent we need to inculcate the importance of financial uh, independence in schools colleges uh, achieving financial independence will overall help in uh, help the women in achieving more uh, uh, higher self esteem which will eventually lead to a uh, more which which will lead to an increased sense of security in women and which is ultimately going to uh, reduce the differences in gender bias so yes let's strive for financial independence in women and once again a very happy women's day hi everyone it is said that the world would mean nothing without us women it is the courage that exists in perfect harmony with amazing tenderness that's what saves the world every day here's wishing all you beautiful talented women a very happy women's day let's all learn to love ourselves first and then others a very happy women's day to all of you and may there be equity hello friends this is dr shilpa sabre i am pediatrician practicing in villeparla uh, on occasion of women's day today on 8 march i would like to uh, ask all my colleagues my friends my patients all my 
uh, female patients that uh, stress on your physical and mental health take out time for yourself cultivate hobbies like walking meditation yoga reading books uh, uh, take out time for your loved ones have a good work life balance which will ensure you to have a good physical and emotional well being and enjoy your day thank you hi i am dr shubhja roy currently i am working as a neuropsychiatrist at kolkata i should say no one single day like international women's day is for women every day is for all women because women has already proved themselves in every aspect of work in society they are working all together for the benefit of society we are balancing by work we are balancing family we are doing more hard work so every day is for hours so no specific day is required okay thank you hello everyone wishing you all a very happy women's day uh celebrating women's day is all about breaking barriers from days in the past when women were not allowed to step outside the house to now when women are ministers running the country running the army and running corporate houses becoming successful doctors becoming successful engineers students dancers actors and what not so we have to tell the new girl child each day she is born that you can achieve it all and you were born to break the barriers so come let's celebrate let's break the barriers let's celebrate womanhood happy women's day for all the wonderful women around who make everybody happy in this world god or nature has made two special kinds of people and call them as male and the female gender with the aim of uh, propagating uh, the human race and also with a message that keep, both of you keep each other happy so now as you are aware the uh, women's day theme for 2022 is gender equality today and a sustainable tomorrow it's very meaningful but how can that be achieved i believe that both men and women first need to understand and believe that they are human beings first with a common requirement of love care and peace of mind then they need to work together with understanding empathy about the opposite gender with the responsibility to keep themselves and others happy it is their responsibility so if they then train themselves uh, and also their next generation with general specific roles and also general neutral roles and responsibilities and then practice it uh, the whole generation then it becomes a kind of a sustainable habit and this habit makes the person uh, thrive in a similar way for both women and women and make themselves very very happy so for a sustainable happiness for tomorrow i think it is today's working together both the genders with equal responsibility it will be sustainable future so again uh, happy women's day for all beautiful women and sensible women and who are the light of the home or the light of society Hello all I am Dr Ramya pediatrician from Karim Nagar we all know our existence to women it is our mother who brings us into this world i would like each and every woman to know that they are fierce and strong they are an epitome of strength and courage here's wishing all women a very happy international women's day have a great day start hello everyone i am shreya a pediatric neurologist and um, my message to all the women out there is that uh, we can do whatever we put our mind to and i think we are already doing a fabulous job by taking care of our families 
and our, of our work front. So let's make it a point that we always take care of our own selves first and then serve our families and our colleagues, our friends and our workplace. So take care of yourself. All the very best. सशक्त महिला की है यही पहचान मुश्किलों से नहीं होती वह परेशान आप सबको अंतर्राष्ट्रीय महिला दिवस की हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं हम महिलाएं कल भी किसी से कम नहीं थी और हम आज भी किसी से कम नहीं हैं ऐसा कोई क्षेत्र नहीं जहां हमने अपना वर्चस्व कायम न रखा हो आप धैर्य बनाए रखें आत्मविश्वास बनाए रखें और हर मुश्किलों का डट कर सामना करें तो कोई ऐसी कठिनाई नहीं जिसे हम पार न कर सकें उसमें जज्बा है कुछ कर दिखाने का दुनिया को साथ लेकर आगे बढ़ते जाने का महिला शक्ति को सलाम